So my question, let me start with Mayuk. Um, you have decades of experience uh, working on the commercial side, revenue management and network planning operations and so on. Where do you think like, you know, just give me a kind of, you know, your feeling and what you're seeing specifically in the Meta and APAC regions. What is the overall landscape of uh, cloud adoption for large network carriers in those regions? And, uh, you know, what factors are driving the cloud adoptions? What are the challenges and so on? Wow, I think it's a interesting question. And uh, you just asked me to describe the ocean standing on its shore it's uh, it's that big or vast a topic but you know clearly today cloud computing is one of the top three priority items for any cio or cto of uh, of any airline you know whether it's a large or or a mid-size or a small uh, across the globe so uh, to say the rate of adoption it's it's quite high uh, and, and, you know, if, if one may call it a revolution, this actually started around about eight to 10 years back. And right now across the globe, not just, you know, the, the, the Middle East or the APAC uh, and certainly India, but across the globe, all major airlines are now moving slowly into, you know, are they either on or already on cloud or they're moving slowly into the cloud. So. So it's uh, it's the adoption is high, but to understand what factors uh, sort of drove this um, cloud adoption, you know, you have to sort of understand the airline landscape back in the in the 70s, uh, where you had all these you know, large legacy carriers. They had invested in massive data centers. Now these are big rooms in either their corporate headquarters or offsite. And they invested heavily in in hardware, in um, engineers, network engineers to maintain these. Um, the tech on which a lot of our legacy uh, passenger service systems, you know, what we call PSS, were also built on these uh, sort of massive data centers. Uh, slowly over time, the tech was evolving, but airlines continued to sort of maintain these data centers, often firefighting with uh, outages or data breaches and uh, slowly information security started becoming a major concern on and a serious threat and costs started to rise massively uh, so this is how the landscape was till about 10 years back and and as you can understand the rest of the world in many other domains uh, they were really you know moving very fast on uh, on tech but you know, the airlines were not uh, keeping pace. And then, you know, cloud computing came and completely changed the, uh, the playing field in, uh, in, in this scenario. Uh, what, what cloud actually did was, uh, I think in, in my view, sort of impacted four major areas. It uh, brought down costs, which was the primary. Uh, it improved speed, uh, provided scale, uh, and and for sure it also improved to a large extent you know the security from you know starting with costs it costs started becoming commoditized with uh, with the cloud and and that drove the costs down massively um, and had a you know quite a direct impact on the profitability of of all the businesses operations reliability started improving you know, as these providers had much greater depth and breadth of security than you know, individual businesses, uh, the combination of predictive analysis and Internet of Things, all of which was being powered by the cloud, uh, was connecting then the supply chain, the warehouse, the base and line maintenance in ways that it would reduce your cancellations, your delays, uh, real time information also meant that business agility uh, was becoming better and uh, you were getting much more refined business insights which uh, sort of enabled the leaders to better plan and manage the business in dynamic market conditions uh, then at the airport uh, biometrics uh, digital twins 
you know other emerging cloud techs they were all taking friction out of the airport experience and that was improving you know the passenger comfort and and helping in the passenger journey uh, one other thing was cloud computing also comes with a certain kind of you know future proof architecture so today in fact uh, most of the major airlines apps that are developed are purely cloud native so uh, you know same with with uh, the pss as i mentioned the passenger service uh, systems these systems have to you know sort of go through multi million transactions per second uh, for a large airline so it needs the resilience and the assurances of uh, to sort of adapt quickly in, and and that's i think something that cloud computing uh, was is providing today uh, so there there are many i mean in flight ops you know you've got cockpit which has become 100% paperless uh, the mro apps which are extremely expensive and is sort of proportional to the fleet size those costs have come down dramatically you know that's a very complex environment where you know need to order replace maintain you know wide variety of uh, aircraft components while at the same time keeping abreast with the latest technology safety guidelines regulatory compliance you know you name it aircraft uh, servicing logs history all of this is uh, you know very very vital and a lot of airlines have have adopted uh, these technologies to you know cloud technologies to to solve these problems so you know for all these reasons cloud tech has has really been transformational uh, and and many other areas you know travel time estimation customer loyalty programs asset optimization uh, emission controls uh, traffic modeling then this is the list is very long so so all in all these are it's a massive shift in the airline industry and so cloud uh, it, computing on technology has really sort of revolutionized uh, the way business is done um, in the it space for for airlines uh, you ask me challenges i think briefly three major ones security continues to be a challenge so but again the service providers being large their scale their depth their breadth they are able to deal with it much better than an individual player uh, from a business perspective i think you need to have workforce that are aligned trained certified in specific platforms so that's a challenge that the business needs to grapple with and i think what's most important is to have a clear uh, defined and robust cloud strategy whether it's a unilateral whether it's a hybrid uh, which has clearly mapped failover plans business continuation planning you know, those things i think are are the challenges that today uh, you know airlines are, are grappling with so it's a it's a pretty big big field